What's up guys? So just another very quick little video today. I want to try to make a video every day even if they are short and um, you know simple but uh, let's get uh, let's get right into it. So the main topic for this video is kind of uh, something I really um, I talked a little bit about in the last video the events being overpowered. Um, it's gonna be uh, there's gonna be quite a few changes that we make after God Wars 2 comes out and they're all gonna be based around the, the logic of balancing and integrity changes um, and a couple things that or, um, you know, just kind of overpowered, right? Uh, first one, Goblin Banker, very overpowered. So I'm going to do something to sort of uh, balance that out. And when I do change it, I'm going to give everybody the opportunity who purchased it to get the, uh, I think it was $40, $40 of bonds. You'll be able to get that exactly back if you don't like the changes uh, or you're obviously, you know, welcome to keep it. But it's going to be balanced a little bit because as is, just being able to bank anywhere you want instantly, very overpowered. Uh it's still going to bank you, but I'm just there's I'm thinking right now with some adventure point costs, so uh, it really won't be too crazy. But you will be every time I you know every time I do this, I'd be wasting adventure points or whatever. Um, Rivers Jambalaya, very overpowered. It is kind of uh, weird and complex to make, but it, it does need a little bit more balancing. Uh, the additional stew probably needs more balancing too. Stuff like that, and then the main topic for this video is. Uh, events so events yeah they it was it was always our plan originally to not do many of them because you do a lot of them it, it makes them watered down it, it makes them less interesting less fun uh more overpowered stuff gets added to the game and that's exactly what we ended up doing we tried to salvage player count or you know try to get people you know to come join the server and it would work sure we would have you know 10 15 extra afkers during every event but then what happens is it really hurt the long-term effects of the game because you got a ton of stuff. Uh, every event seemed to give more and more stuff, especially if it was bad at first because then we nerfed it. Uh, or I guess if no one complains, then that's probably not a good sign because then that means it's too good. Uh, you usually want some complaints, <laughs> right? Um, but I think one of the worst things it does is it sort of creates this um, this mindset where... You really only want to play during the event. The event ends and you're like, well, I don't really have anything to do. I already have a bunch of gear. I gained a bunch of stuff from that. I can't really use that stuff to get any new gear because I've, I've either already completed the game or just have no need for that gear because of my new overpowered gear. Um, so you, you don't do anything. You just quit. And then, like, maybe we'll do another event, another player appreciation event because we're trying to get players back. You'll play for a couple days and, you know, it's the same thing. And then every single time we do it, it gets worse and worse. Uh, I showed my bank a little bit in the... Uh, in the uh in the last video i have all this stuff basically saved up from events and uh, i'll open it uh, i'll open it in a in a main series video soon but like uh yeah like i i, I basically was only playing event during events too um that's the main reason why i wanted to start a new account is because i just want to get back into things uh, already max this account out I, and even though i do there are you know tons of things i could have like, like i don't even believe i have a blowpipe right yeah i don't have a blow there's so many things i'm missing it's just like every event kept adding things that like, I don't know, I just went for those instead. So it just, I don't know, like even this Dragon Warhammer, I don't even think I, I did kill a bunch of laser shamans, but I got this from a, a group blue chest or an uber box or something like, like I was just grinding events was basically giving me all of the gear I could need. So I had no reason to even do bandos and stuff like that. And that's not healthy for the game. I'm sure a lot of people have noticed that and have gone through that sort of problem. Uh, so there's going to be a lot less events going forward. And one thing I want to do for events is I really liked our first event, the Joker event. It was really pretty well thought out. It was, um, it made sense. It looked good too. It wasn't sloppy. I, I, a little sloppy, you know, it's, it's going to be sloppy. But uh, it, it just, it, there was a lot more thought went into it, a lot more time to, to develop it. It had the Pokemon cards. It was, uh, you know, we ended up adding the Joker champion as an additional thing. Um, it was a lot better. The last couple of events has just been AFK, kill this thing, the entire event, that's it. So I, I think that's that's what we want to do with the events is we actually want to make them good. And that was, I mean, that was our mission statement originally. That was the goal was to try to keep them, you know, good every, you know, f f you know, once every couple of months. So it's June 3rd when I'm making this and uploading it. Uh, our next event will most likely be uh, April 20th, our, our, our one year anniversary so yeah we're gonna probably do one then we'll probably do another one uh, mid-summer uh then maybe a maybe a halloween one or like uh yeah i suppose a halloween one but then we would, we would make sure that it's actually released like october 1st and ends like halloween day or something like that or the next day or whatever 
so that way there's a space out and then something Christmas. I tried to work on uh, some events. This actual, I, I tried to work on a, uh, a little, it was going to be a player's appreciation event during Thanksgiving, but I just couldn't get anything substantial out or even close to it. And then I tried to get on Christmas with, I was going to do like an el uh, like a elf workshop type thing. And it's just like every single thing I tried to code just gave me problems. Just like the, like the stairs just wouldn't fucking work. I spent like five hours trying to get the stairs to working. And it, uh, you know, it's probably something super small that I was just missing or forgetting, but just uh, wasn't able to do it. And uh, I don't know, part, probably glad I didn't because then we would have had a month of AK, AFK, a super overpowered event. And I'm sure the Christmas one would have been so. Um, moving forward, that's the plan less events but hopefully they'll be better and more balanced and i think that gives um you know a lot of opportunities for in actual in-game content that's going to stay and i think what we need to do because we still want to have like event type things we still want people to join the server for certain reasons or you know have certain things to expect and we need to do more things like what's currently going on double slayer points double xp stuff like that i think that's the way to go um, double XP, maybe not as much, but like, I, and another thing I want to do is like, uh, so I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go and they have these things called raid hours and stuff like that. Like they, a lot of their events are, are time like once a week at six o'clock. It's, it's based on your own time zone, which is nice. That's something we can't do. Like, like we, everything we, we would want to do, we'd have to turn on. And that's kind of a problem if, you know, if you have an owner that doesn't play this fucking server and never shows up, you can't really trust him to turn on a weekly event or anything like that. But um, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to try to do and stick with the rhythm. So, for example, let's say like the, the first weekend of every month. So, it'd be this weekend, 6th and 7th. Uh, I, guess, I guess 7th and 8th. I don't, I don't know. We start started on Friday and ended on Monday morning is usually what the, the logic is. But it would be like one, one boss gives double drops. Like, let's just say cow boss gives double drops. Or like it gives half the drop rate or something like that. Like... We do really crazy one hour, like or not one hour, like one weekend type events. Um, but it's like really simple and specialized, and it's gonna encourage people to actually do stuff. Like we could even do bandos. Like maybe maybe one one day bandos is a group boss, so everybody just gets to fucking wreck band. I guess I would probably have to balance it like multiply its health, or something like that, because then we would just be farming the the hell out of bando stuff. But um, I want to do more stuff like that. Like, just a little, little, little smaller, easier within the game events. Not, like, coded stuff. And then another thing I'd want to do is, like, rotating event cycles. So, like, um, I, I don't really want to keep giving Pokemon examples, because if you don't understand Pokemon, then it wouldn't even make sense. But, uh, like, let's say we have, like, let's say Sliske, right? If you remember the Halloween boss, it's Sliske. It was basically just a big Sliske mime that you would group boss kill. That was essentially it. Uh, we could have like we could add a little bit more to it, create make it maybe make it a whole like maybe take the entire event as a whole, give it more specific purpose. Maybe like you're 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 gonna get a drop that uh, you can combine to like make something. Maybe that's you know like you know what I mean. Like you'd it'd be it'd be more in depth than what it was originally, and it would be out for like a week, and then it would be gone for like a month or two, and then come back. You know what I mean? It would be the exact same event. Uh, it would you know like and they would rotate. We'd have a different one where it's I don't know like like. I always use the big chinchampa as a, an idea for in-game content, but maybe that's a better idea as some sort of event. And that way we can make it, because you can make it a little bit more overpowered if it's not going to be there all the time. And if it's, you know, if you're in rotation, then then you could sort of, like, if you like one boss over the other, then you're like, oh, crap, that boss is coming back. I'll have to play for that week or whatever. Um, I, I really like the way that they, they do events, and I think it's a smarter way to do it because it's not going to be so code-intensive. Like, for example, that Joker, you know, I try to turn most events into actual content because I don't want that code to get wasted. But the truth is, sometimes it's going to be wasted. Like, I mean, that, that Elves Workshop idea I had for Christmas would, would have been completely wasted, too. I mean, how, what am I going to turn that into, right? That you just continuously work on it? it? It wouldn't really work. But if we do these smaller ideas where we can keep reusing the content, and uh, I think that's a lot better. So, uh, anyways, those are my ideas for the uh, mo events we're going to have moving forward. So the last thing we'll talk about is what type of account we voted on in the last episode. It's um, it's only been about 24 hours, and let me refresh one more time. Thank you to everybody who voted. It is very close, but we have decided Hardcore Iron Man one by one vote, and I just I just think that that could make for potential better content. I'm not good at it, Hardcore Iron Man. I I'm careless. I don't pay a lot of attention, and I expect to die. Um, so my plan is I'm gonna make three counts. I've already made them. 
you'll see the next you'll see the very first episode soon because it should be pretty easy to get content uh when you first start out a series so you should have some like some footage of that very soon but uh, I have three accounts. Uh, I'm, I haven't figured out what goal I want to complete yet, but my goal is to complete that goal. Uh, I'll probably max and, you know, try to do everything, right? But, like, I, I want to have one specific goal, maybe Infernal Cape. I don't even think a single person has Infernal Cape because I'm pretty sure it's, like, near impossible due to glitches. Maybe it's not with the pet. I don't know if the pet changes it or something. I, I, don't, I don't know, but... Um, that would be a good, you know, a good way to, like, test the content and fix it all and make it work is by, you know, trying to go for it myself or something like that without dying. I don't even know if that is a good idea for that specifically, though, because I don't think Infernal counts as a death, right? So, yeah, we would probably need a, a goal that would actually kill me. Like, I don't know, maybe we go... I don't know, we'll, we'll think of something, and if you have any ideas, because I, I don't have an idea just yet on what my final goal will be, but... The idea is we'll come up with a final goal, and I'll basically have three tries to do it. So if I die on one account, I'll go to the next account. If I die on that account, go to the third account. And then if I fail that, then I'll probably give up on the concept of Hardcore Iron Man. And then make an Ultimate Iron Man, because that was the second vote. But anyways, uh, this video went way longer than I expected it to. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope, uh, hope to see you guys again tomorrow with another video of some rambling.